In my last video, I gave you guys five tips on how to take better photos with your smartphone. And in this video, I wanted to take it a step further, continuing the series on smartphones, and I'm actually going to print some of the photos that I've taken with my smartphone recently. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do that by starting off with how I'm going to edit my photos, and then I'm going to offload them onto a little, you know, um, thumb drive, and then I'm going to bring it to the store downstairs. There's still a Kodak store downstairs. I'm going to get them printed, and we're going to see how those photos look like. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is, one, I think it's a cool topic. I think it's a topic that, you know, a lot of you guys are interested in, uh, and a topic I want to try uh, for myself as well, because one of the goals that I've made for myself this year is to print more of my photos, not just with my iPhone, uh, which I haven't tried yet, but with my, you know, DSLR or with whichever camera I choose to take photos with because, you know, it's kind of tiring when you have to look at a screen to view your images and that's where most of my images live. They live on social media, they live on my hard drive and it's just, you know, it's a little bit inconvenient at times and uh, sometimes I just don't want to have to look at the screen. So, you know, having more photos of my own that I can hold and not have to look at a screen to view and to share with other people, I think that's, you know, a very good thing. And because I'm taking more photos now with my iPhone, I want to see if I'm happy with the results that I get from printing photos with my iPhone. It's been a couple of days since I last uh, filmed that last part of the video and I do have the photos back. I actually just printed two photos. This one and this one, which you can see on the Instagram. And I also, these are our five by seven. Um, so they're cropped a little bit weird because uh, I had them at a four by five aspect ratio. But I also printed this huge one, which is eight by 10, which uses the same aspect ratio, four by five, it's just doubled, just to see how much detail I could get from an image shot with an iPhone, edited with an iPhone and then printed. So let's take a closer look at these images. These two images were taken in Tagaytay, which is sort of in the south of um, south of Manila, a couple hours, probably an hour and a half south of Manila. If you guys have been to the Philippines, you might have gone here. And I just printed these two because I think they, you know, make a pretty nice diptych. So what I did in terms of the editing was I used VSCO, like I explained in my previous video. And I just used the C7 preset. I didn't really do anything else uh, to it. I didn't add anything else just to see how the image would turn out. Now, I actually really like how this first image turned out. If we get in closer, the image is really detailed. There's a lot of detail here in the, in the greenery. Now, when I took the photo with the iPhone, there was like a little bit of... I don't know how to explain it, but the detail just wasn't in the sky. It was a little grainy looking like digital artifacts, but in the print, it appears pretty smooth, which, you know, I really like because I didn't want that, you know, sort of grainy look in the, in the clouds. I want it to be more flat and it did turn out nicely in the out of focus areas in the f areas that really weren't focused on like the background, it does, you know, lack a little bit of of detail but that's okay it still looks it looks fine in this uh, smaller print so that I'm really happy with now if we take a look at the second image over here if you look at the part that was in focus it's really nice and sharp actually which I really like so this part here is all really nice now something I noticed and I look back in the photo afterwards were in these uh, leaves here I sort of clipped a lot in the in the highlights and so you get a lot of like white blotches here I don't know if that uh, you can see that clearly in the video but there are white blotches I looked back at the image and they are there in the image so that's just something I should have looked out for and even though these two aren't perfect you know there are a lot of you know what I would call technical flaws in the image and sort of uh, parts that are lacking in quality in comparison to a DSLR. This is something, these two, I, you know, frame those maybe or give these away or put them in an album or something because I'm very, very happy with the quality. I, you know, if I shared this with someone, they wouldn't ask me what I took it with or they might assume that I took it with a DSLR or something 
uh, because they do look pretty good and I'm very, very happy with them. If we look at the bigger picture over here, so again, this is a 10 by 8. Um, again, let us focus on this. You can see a lot of detail here in this area in the front. And I think you can might see the white splotches a little more clearly over here. But overall, still very detailed and still very good. So that's it for this video, guys. That is me printing images with my iPhone. And I am very, very happy with the results. So I hope this, you know, maybe encourages you guys to take some of the photos from your phone some of the good ones, your favorite ones, and print them out. You can just take them to a store um, and they'll do it for you. Or, you know, if you have a printer, you can print it yourself. But I took it to a store, uh, they did it for me, and it turned out really good. If you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And check out the description for any of the resources that I mentioned and things like that. And I'll see you guys in the next video.